Oh, oh look, we're on an airplane. Oh wow, yes, we are. Where are we off to? Dublin. Let's start the show. I've been haunted by the past nights I remind you of the bad times I've been blinded by the gaslight I've been blinded by the... Last night I said some shit I... Glorious sunny day so far Right Marcus? Yes, it's our first time back in Ireland for two and a half years And the sun is shining And we have brought our umbrellas out just in case um, Definitely. It's great just to take a stroll down O'Connell Street. It's such a long time. Yeah, it's where our hotel is based and uh, we're right at the top end. Which means we've got this lovely walk the whole way down to the Liffey. Watch out for the buses! Oh, I'm not stepping be, on the road. You've got to be careful because not only are the buses running regularly. There's like a tram. There's, there, the tram runs along here as well. So you better watch out. Oh, next stop, my favourite shop. Well, actually. My, my second favourite shop. What is that? It's Eason's. Let's take a look. Well, if you've ever been to Ireland, you'll have been to Eason's. Well, if you've bought a newspaper, a book, or a snack. Uh, it's the equivalent, I guess, of W.H. Smith. Uh, very sad that all their stores in Northern Ireland have now closed, but down in the Republic it's still going strong and the one in O'Connell Street is iconic for its clock. Um, it's also a great meeting place as well. I'll meet you under the clock at Eason's. Well, I'm going to go in and check what newspapers they have because they keep papers from all across Ireland, weekly newspapers and daily papers as well. So I'm going to check out and see what's available. Oh look, they have a uh, tower records on the second floor. So maybe we need to have a look at this place. Bad nights. I've been haunted by the past nights. I remind you of the bad times. I've been blinded by the gaslight. I've been blinded by the... Last night I said some shit I can't take back. I certainly remember walking through Tower Records looking at all these different types of merchandise like CDs, clothing, DVDs. Oh, I certainly do miss them, don't you? This is the Spire in the middle of O'Connell Street. It's also known as the Monument of Light. But what else can you tell us about it, Paul? This monument stands at 390 feet. It was erected in 2003 and it is lit up at night. Oh, this the, well, the spire, like yeah. the BT Tower. Well, well, it is quite tall, and it is a, a easy way to navigate where you need to go. Well, it certainly stands over the entire city. It is a bit of a landmark, um, but I don't think you can go up it because no. it's <laughs> it's rather long and thin. Um, I guess you might be able to abseil it, um, <laughs> but 
but uh, I think you'd have to get permission from Dublin City Council. Mm. Well, this is the General Post Office on O'Connell Street. Uh, it's known locally as the GPO, and it's the headquarters of Ireland's Postal Service and Post. Well, of course, the most famous story relating to the GPO is that you can see bullet holes left from the rising on the facade of the building. Um, but some people believe that actually it's just erosion from the weather. Why is that? Well, it's because the building was destroyed in the Rising in 1916. Only the facade sur survived um, and it was completely rebuilt and opened in, again in 1929. So basically, uh, some historians believe that it's just the weather has eroded that part of the building that survived. Mm. However, as it is the facade, and as the rising did, did, did take part on O'Connell Street, you know, I think there's probably some truth in the fact that they are bullet holes and it is part of Irish folklore after all. We do like a story. I absolutely love stamp machines like this. Um, I think I've said before that there was one in Bally Money way back in the day and um, it took 50 pigs and one day I put one in, got my book of stamps out and then it also churned out a whole series of 50 pigs. Um, this one actually works, it's the first stamp machine that I've actually seen anywhere which is still in operation and uh, you can buy 10 national stamps to send anywhere across Ireland or 10 international, I think it's great. for watching our show today if you like what you see please subscribe yes do please subscribe i mean really please subscribe whenever i come to dublin i always remember the o'connell monument on o'connell street this is the one thing that comes to mind as well as the heineken building right here. These are the two bits that stick in my mind whenever I walk down O'Connell Street. The O'Connell Monument is named after Daniel O'Connell, a Irish nationalist also known as the Liberator. Not to be confused with Daniel O'Donnell who is known as a crooner. Who? Who? From Donegal. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, every great city has a great river and Dublin is no exception. The glorious Liffey flows through Dublin city centre and it has many bridges. We are standing on the O'Connell Bridge, which is at the end of O'Connell Street. But there's two other bridges which we want to take a look at, so let's go now. That was a little bit windy. Um, we're there's a little bit of drizzle as well, even though the sun is shining, uh, there's a little bit of cloud. During the breaks in the wind, we're taking a lovely little stroll along the, uh, the edge of the Liffey. So we've left the O'Connell Bridge behind us and we're heading down to the next one, which is the Hippany Bridge, spelt H-A-P-E-N-N-Y, like the old coin. And it's happening here. Oh, it's very happening at the Hippany. <laughs> it certainly is. And I do remember that the last time we were here, um, there's a picture of us standing, I think, on this side of the bridge, having crossed over from Temple Bar, which is the great nightlife area. And uh, we were rather the worse for wear. Oh, 
I see a lone swan. Marcus, I have never noticed this before. The Abbey Punch Court. The Punch and Inn Bar. Oh yeah, Abbey, I was looking at a pub. Oh gosh. Abbey Court, it looks like a, an old people's home. It has a hostel. It's very colourful. Look at O'Connell's. And the Bachelor Inn Bar. Oh wow. Which has seen better days, I think. Certainly has. And here it is. The Hippany Bridge. There's lots of pubs along the uh, side of the Liffey and at the edge of the, the Hipney Bridge. Wow, look! It's the Hipney Bridge Inn and it looks as though they're getting a delivery of Guinness. Well, next up is the Millennium Bridge, which opened in 1999 and I think the name speaks for itself. It was a new bridge opened to mark the year 2000. Enjoying crossing all the bridges, Paul, as we uh, pass on the uh, Millennium. I don't think I've ever been this far down the river before. <laughs> oh, I think that we have. Really I think we have. You just haven't realised it. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's been such a long time. Well, we certainly haven't crisscrossed it like this. And I think I said at the start there were going to be three, but I think we're going to have a bonus bridge because you want to go to the, the fourth one along, which is the Grattan Bridge. Because There's you think right there, there. there is treasure at the end of the rainbow? I hope so. Oh, let's go and have a look. Paul has taken us on this little trip down to the Grattan Bridge because along the way I've spotted the Clarence Hotel and it's owned by a musician. You may have heard of him. Bono from U2. Well, with the sun shining and the palm trees, it actually looks quite exotic. Hello! This is the Grattan Bridge and you've taken us here because you've spotted somewhere that you want to, to visit. I think. I think that there's one on this street going into Temple Bar. What, a pub? Yeah, it's always a pub, I think it's it? called Street 66 or something. Oh, right. Not Route 66. No, definitely not. Uh, so we're going to do some exploring to see where we should go later on. Well, it looks as though your Street 66 has gone. But luckily, we've found an alternative. The Beer Temple. Time to pray, I think. Well, I think you'll agree that we've only just scratched the surface of Dublin, haven't we, Paul? I don't really remember a whole lot of this, but it is really good to explore the city again. And it's a good job that we've got more than one episode from here. So it's bye from Dublin for now, but we'll see you here again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.